So last month, Jacqueline Williams became the first West Indies female umpire to stand in a men's T20 international featuring two full member teams, um, which means a big team, them in cricket, the England and the Pakistan and the Jamaica. Well, I was going to say Jamaica, but the West Indies. <laughs> <laughs> she joins us now via Zoom. Jack Swagwan, morning, welcome, happy new year. Thank you, same to you. I'm pretty much okay. All right, great to see you. You played cricket? Yeah, a little bit. What do you mean by a little bit? So you just run in the backyard and play for two minutes and run go back in? What do you mean by a little bit? Well, a little bit of that, but I played for Jamaica for a few years. All right, so you're being humble because you did play big time cricket. <laughs> yeah, but where did that interest in cricket start, though, Jacqueline? Um, I think at the time, I, I grew up at a time when cricket was like the main sport and, and everybody plays cricket. You know, you get your uh, coconut bat and, you know, everybody plays cricket. So, yeah, I think that's, that's how it started. Hmm. Why you wanted to be an umpire? Well, really, I, that, that really wasn't an, an ambition of mine, per se. It was just um, through some encouragement from my then coach, Mr. Wilbert Parks. He was of the opinion that once you play cricket, then you should know the rules. And that is how I end up doing the, 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 the umpiring course. Mm. Um, I, <laughs> boy, it, it's two different things, though, you know, Jackie, I got to say. I mean, <laughs> playing it is one thing, but being out there as the umpire is, is something else. Um, yes, certainly. What was the training process like for you? And, and, what, and what, what were the challenges, if any, as a woman training to become an umpire? All right, so the, the, the training process is, is basic, you know, um, it, it entails a lot of reading, there's a lot of material that you have to read. Hmm. And, and umpiring is a, it's a, it's a physical thing, so you may read and, and be very good at knowing, spitting out the rules and all of that, but going out on the field, and managing the situation, that is where you really develop as an umpire. Mm. It seems like in <laughs> it seems like in sport, in sport overall, um, everything is has gone electronic. Um, I, I did kind of like say, yeah, the umpire make a mistake and we move on. It happened to me one day, it probably happened to the other next day. But now with the DRS system, which is a review system, folks, um, it 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 kind of makes it a little bit more. I don't know how to say the word difficult, but you, you know, you, you can be shown up as an umpire because you say, yes, I'm out, and then the RS say, well, I'm never really out. Oh, how, how difficult is that for you to maneuver? Well, for me, that is not difficult at all because as an umpire, you really want to ensure that you're doing the game justice. And we, one of the things that I always keep in mind is that we're all human beings outside there, and the reasons why players get out is because they make errors. So if an umpire makes an error and there's a technology that is going to correct that error, I embraced it. It is the same way how if the batter thinks that I make an error and the technology shows up that, listen, you are very much correct, I embrace it. So I embrace both forms and I think it's something that is very good for the game and it's the platform that continues to grow. Yeah. I, I actually think it's good for the game. Just, just before Dale, and an extension to that question, um, have you got them more right than wrong? <laughs> I, I don't know. I haven't checked my stats. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, the fact that you were given uh, that game would suggest that you get them more right than wrong, wouldn't yeah. it? Possibility, possibility. Very right. Well, well, it's it, it's history making, Jackie. Um, the first time you are approached or are told that listen, you're going to stand in this um, T20 International, how did you feel? Nervous, excited? Uh, I, well, I was, I was excited. I was really, really excited. Uh, um, I remember I was in Trinidad as a colleague. You know, I was there for a tournament and I was at a, a colleague's home and I opened the email and I, I think a few tears came. But um, let's, these, are the, these are the things that you, you when going into umpiring and realize that there's a pathway and you can reach somewhere. Those are some of the things that you dream of. And to be given the opportunity, I think, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really grateful. Yeah, I've, I've I watched cricket a lot. I um, actually did commentary on cricket and stuff. And I've watched you as an umpire a lot um, since you started. 
sometimes, you know, sometimes them man appeal like them life depend on it. I see some man go down for them knee and turn over and, oh, is that? And, and you just kind of not out. I mean, <laughs> them not put you under pressure when everybody a jump up and down and not stand people and pee. How is that? <laughs> Is it that? So one, of the, one of the things that I always remember is only upon an appeal that you can, you know, you can get a get a wicked stuff. Yeah. If you need to appeal as well as you need just to so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do, do what you must. But 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 I think umpiring <laughs> requires as never was alluding to a level of calmness. <laughs> yep. So that when everything is happening around you, because sometimes after the umpire, yeah, but... and you see the umpire stand up there a little bit and then go so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the umpire, oh my God. It's a little bit of drama in umpiring too, Jackie, that's all. Well, you the spectators will have to tell me that. Um, <laughs> what, what, what are the things that you have to remember? As an umpire, you get just one time to see whatever the situation is. So you, you really can't get too caught up into the game and what is happening. You are always have to keep as calm as possible. And then just because remember now, the thing happened, you're replaying it in your brain. So after the appeal, you just blocked out everything. You know there's an appeal and then you just make the decision from there. I, I think Steve Buckner was the first umpire I saw what Daly just alluded to. That the people made an appeal and him just kind of look like him around you and say... But me make them yeah, calm down. Say, and him appeal and appeal and then finally you see him go like that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and say, we don't give up the man for a long time. But you could see that he was working it out in his head yeah. whether I should give him out or not. Mm -hmm. Are you anything like that? Are your finger come up quick or you say no quick? Are you anything like that? Oh boy, Steve is a great one, and I, 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 I know I'm not sure I'm anywhere near Steve, but um, I think I, I take a little while. I, I tend to, you know, process information uh, maybe a little slower. So yeah, I think I take a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as you said, this is like the next step, you know, and I and I and I like when things like this happen because it lets young people understand that there's more to the game and more career opportunities than than just playing on the pitch. Um, for you, history making, um, how would you like to see our young girls and women develop in cricket um, here in the region and here in Jamaica? Well, all right. So <laughs> I'm not a cricketer, though. I'm an umpire. Yeah. But as it, as it relates to cricket, when I was playing, there wasn't really any, there wasn't a career in cricket. No things have changed. You know, there is a career pathway in cricket. So yes, just like any other sport where there's a career path, where I think cricket is something that I would encourage young ladies to take up. And by extension, if you realize that, you know, listen, I'm not going to go forward in playing it. There are other areas in, in the game that you can take on and, and, and be, you know, with some dedication, patience and hard work, you can be successful as, as it relates to umpiring and, and match officiating overall. Final question. I'm not certain how much control you have over it, but how close are you to a, a big test match? <laughs> I think as far as I am from winning the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> Lama, you soon get there. That's close <laughs> enough. That, you soon get there. You soon get there. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Congratulations. God bless you and your family for 2024. All right, stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, man. One to you. First West Indies female umpire um, to do a, a big time game. All right. Yeah. Nice, nice. Coming up in the next half hour, details on the 2024 Jamaica Stock Exchange Conference and the second edition of News in Five. This is Smile Jamaica. So come. <laughs>